Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about area under a curve using limits of sums. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. The limit, as n goes to infinity, of the sum from k equals 1 to n of n or 2 over n plus 2k over n squared, and we have to evaluate this limit. Well, first, I'm going to try to evaluate the sum, and then we're going to take the limit there and see if we can take a limit to get an answer. So, we have to keep writing this whole limit as n approaches infinity the whole time. Now, the sum, I'm going to try to break up to two parts here. Okay, now remember, we're taking the limit of the whole thing, just so we're clear. I'm going to break it up so we have an n, oh, uh, the sum here, from k equals 1 to n of a 2 over n plus another sum here from k equals 1 to n of 2k over n squared. Now with that, we'll see if we can pull apart and see how we can make it look like one of our definitions. We have the limit here as n goes to infinity of the first part. Well, we know we can bring out the constant, but we also can bring the n out front. It doesn't get affected by this sum. So we have a 2 over n, or directly affected. k equals 1 over n, and we're left with just a 1 here. Plus, same thing here, I'm going to pull out a 2 over n squared to be outside of the sum, and multiply it afterwards, k equals 1 to n, and we're left with just a k. So what does that simplify to be? Well, uh, let's put it up here, not enough room, hopefully. Equals, we saw the limit, as n it goes to infinity of the whole thing here. Now let's use our rules. We have a 2 over n times the sum of 1 as just an n using our definition plus 2 over n squared times the sum. I'm going to use multiplication here like that. When we have k, and k is an n over n plus 1 over a 2. All right? So now we just have to do some nice simplification. Let's see what we get. The limit as n approaches infinity here. The n's cancel here, so we have a 2. Plus, now, what did I do first? I think I got rid of all that. Yeah. So this n eliminates with that n squared, the square part, and the 2's here cancel. So we have an n plus uh, 1 over n. But I still can't take the limit yet, right? Uh, we have kind of like an infinity over an infinity here. So let's go use some algebra. Limit as n goes to infinity of 2 plus, well this can be separated to be an n over an n plus 1 over an n. Keep on going, the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 plus n over n is a 1 plus 1 over n. At this point, I can take my limit, right? As n goes to infinity of 1 over n, that just kind of right here goes to a 0. And so we're left with the 2 plus 1, which is 3. So after all of that, my final answer for evaluating this limit is a 3. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.